I'm Karen and welcome back to the Bawenyo Wife in America! So guys, kumusta mo din ha? Kumusta mga nasa Pilipinas, sa mga nasa Amerika, o sa uban pang mga kababayan nato, o sa uban nato mga subscribers, o sa dili pa subscribers sa laing nasod sa kalibutan. So guys, I'm back and right now, as you can see, I'm not done with my guys it's a lot of documents especially if you're gonna um, petition your mom and your dad so I believe if it's just your mom or if only you're just petitioning one person it's it's much easier but if you're petitioning your mom and dad guys as you can see I have to scan continuously all the I-864 uh, of my dad and the same time the I-864 of my mom and I have to scan continuously the I-864A of my dad and the I-864A of my mom as well as to scan continuously all the trans IRS transcripts guys so what I have here is the 2018, 2019 and the 2020 oh, my laptop. And so this is the I-864A form of my mom this is the I-864 form of my dad so this is the form of my mom this is my dad I made sure guys I don't interchange and these forms have already been signed guys by me the sponsor or the petitioner so I have here this is the I-864A form of my of my of my mom James already signed this and I already signed this as well and here this is the I-864 a form of my dad this is already been signed guys so this is the rest this three here is the transcript IRS transcript so we have the 2020 2019 and the 2018 and this one guys my husband just got hired back at the base so uh, he was working there I guess for two weeks already and um, this I will include his um, like the summary of his paycheck guys given by the HR at the base because this this is the evidence guys how much is our our current income right now so so the one that the current the current income that reflected in our just in our adjusted gross income in the uh, transcript of 2020 it is different that the total there is different because that was way back when we were still in North Carolina and James was working in a different company so since the I-864A form and the I-864 form is asking for the current income, so here guys, I am, I'm talking about the current income in page, I'm going to Chicadora again now. It's, 
So here guys in part 6, sponsors employment and income. So since my husband is the household member guys that will help me out in the income. So it says here guys in number 10, current income. So I have to upload this guy since he is working in a new company now and it says it's current. So I will definitely upload this summary of his payment guys for his paycheck. And that's it guys. I already uploaded uh I mean I already scanned sorry, I already scanned guys the um I already scanned the birth certificates of my mom, which I did that in I-130, our, our passport, we already have it, passport, driver's license, marriage certificate, marriage contract, I already have those scanned long time ago, guys, long time, since the I-130, and that's it, guys, so I will just scan some of the documents that I wasn't able to do so. So, kumusta mo din mga pips? Nakapin na ba mo? It's morning here, guys. Actually, I just woke up like 30 minutes ago. I make my coffee. I said I need to drink my coffee first. Sa ning magkuti-kuti ani ako mga form, guys. I already scanned everything and it just so happened that it got error guys when I tried to um, submit it so I have to redo it again guys and suddenly I realized that uh, the file is more than 2 MB so I got nervous a little bit because you know like oh my gosh it's error but I I went to Facebook guys and I, I actually I joined three groups in Facebook and I posted there choo 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 type type and I posted there hi guys anybody knows how what software I'm gonna use for free to convert or compress my bigger size of PDF file to make it smaller because it I got error in CX so I just posted it guys and somebody replied me and her name is Zoe Bell. Thank you, Zoe Bell. <laughs> so because of her, because there was one person, George Febero, who replied me back. But Acrobat, I don't have, I don't have, I have an idea, guys. When I look for it, it's, it's a little complicated. I'm sorry, guys. But when I found Zoe Bell, she said, she said, I love PDF.com. So... I will gonna show you guys how easy it is and I feel so relieved and of course I said to myself I want to share this to to here here in YouTube because maybe some some or there's maybe some of you there who are in trouble you know like uh, making the size much smaller for you to get accept for your document to get to get accepted in CF that state that go so without further ado guys Let's go, let's go to the scanner and I will show you how to do it to compress the file, PDF file in the computer. Let's go.
So now guys, we are here in the laptop. So I'm gonna teach you guys and show you how I compress my, my PDF file to a smaller size. So let's go to the, the software that I use is the I love PDF dot com i love pdf.com and then you go up to, you will go to compress pdf and then go to select pdf file select your file that you want to be compressed so i'm gonna compress this i864 of my mom so i just click that one and then open And then you go here, guys, on this lower right side, compress PDF. So as you can see here, guys, you will see, guys, how much is the, the file size that will be converted to. So... So the original file size, guys, of that document that I just uploaded here is 6.9 MB, but it says here it will convert be converted to 2.08 MB. So still, it's more than the CAC.state.gov requires. So we all know that CAC.state.gov only wants us to upload a file that is not more than 2 MB. So as here, guys, you can already tell that still uh, the file size of this document is, is still big. So we will do it twice, guys. We have to convert and uh, I mean to say we have to compress the file twice. So open the file and then we're going to save it. You can you will go here, guys, and save it. So let's go back to I love pdf.gov and compress the second time that file, guys. So we will go to compress PDF, select PDF file, and we'll compress it even smaller, guys. So the second time. So click that one, then open extreme compression. So let's click that one and compress click compress pdf so now guys it will tell you immediately how how uh, what's the file uh, new file size guys so from 2.08 mb it becomes 7.09.75 kilobyte so if you convert that one 709 kb to in mb it's less than 1 MB now, which I believe is okay. Let's see, guys, if you can still read it. Because <laughs> the quality is, is not that good anymore once you compress it really in a very small size, as we all know that one. I believe you also know that one. It's okay. You can We can still see it. Yeah. So it's still, it's not blurred. This is the final, guys, that I gonna upload in CAC. So I'll just replace the other one guys. The old one. I'll just replace that 2.07 with this 709 KB. So now guys let's try another file. So let's go to I love pdf.com compress pdf select pdf file and then this time guys i will do the i864a of my dad click that one and then open the file then go to compress pdf So it will be converted, you can see here guys, from 5.38 MB a while ago, it will be converted to 1.6 MB. So we're good to that. We're not going to compress it the second time because it's already less than 2 MB. Check, right click. So that's 1.59 or 1.6 MB. 
that's it guys i hope this video will help you in converting your bigger file to smaller p pdf file and use the i love pdf.com so uh, i'm really happy and really glad that one of the person in the facebook group that i joined replied me guys so her name is zoe bell yeah she was she was the one who met, replied me which uh software to use for free online to convert the pdf file guys which is more than 2 mb that we scanned a while ago and, and i'm gonna go say bye and see you in the next video guys bye Okay, come here.